In this segment of the tutorial, I'm going to be thumbnailing through Silhouette. I usually switch between the two methods just to change it up a little bit. There's a slight different feeling and thought process, and this could lead to a different result. Sometimes when we're drawing so much, we tend to uh, go on autopilot, so it's nice to change up the method a little bit to break that repetition. As you can see, as opposed to lines, we're creating an opaque block out of the character. So for this one, I'm going to be using a different brush so that I can teach you another tool. This is the clay buildup, and I've set the shortcut to number two for this one. So you want to repeat the same thing that you did with a standard brush by turning off the Z add and turning on the RGB. This is going to disable sculpting and enable painting. And what I like about this one is that it gives me some really solid shapes. The pressure isn't going to affect the opacity so much. Instead, it's going to affect the size a little bit more. So um, it's going to start out really jagged at first. So what I want to do is change the settings a little bit. So for this one, go to the stroke menu at the top, click on modify, and we're going to drag the roll distance so that it's at around three. And uh, once we do that, you'll notice that there's a significant uh, difference in the stroke quality. There's still a little bit of jaggedness, but we're going to let that go for now because it's not going to matter once we erase and, and modify the silhouette enough. All right, let's get to some designing. As you can see, I'm blocking out the initial proportions first. I'm just trying to find a silhouette that works for me. I'm thinking of designing an edgy but delicate kind of character. So you can see me adding some harsh shapes in the hair area. She's going to be oriental in character, so I'm obviously going to go with some recognizable shapes like the kimono. And I'm going to repeat a lot of these sharp triangular shapes on her shoulders, her sleeves, and wherever else that I can get away with it. Again, like the previous method, I'm really just toggling between the two colors with the V key so I can paint and erase really quick. Now that we're done, we're going to do something really cool with this one. We're going to create a mask out of the silhouette. Right? So to do that, you want to go to the tool menu, which should already be open on the right column. Scroll all the way down to the masking tab. Expand that. Look for color. And from there, click on Intensity. So what's initially done is it's masked out the character. And we sort of want the inverse of that. Because now, you know, all the strokes are hitting everything but the character. So uh, in order to do that, we want to click on the Invert button. We also want to hide the mask so that it's not so distracting. And to do that, we're going to click on the View Mask button. So we're just going to turn that off. As you can see, our strokes are constrained to the silhouette. I'm going to lightly erase so that we can fill in some details on the silhouette. What I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of form detail and shape breakups throughout the design. So uh, I try not to focus too much on, you know, having too much detail here. Just the main shapes, right? And I'm thinking purely uh, about design. Right, so you can see that I have indeed repeated a lot of the triangular shapes throughout the, the silhouette. Right, all the way from her gloves to the, uh, to the stripes on her, uh, on her shoes. And even in the folds. Right, so um, I wasn't really happy with the face, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, you know, just erase what I've done and paint over. I'm still not so keen on the proportions, actually, so I'm going to change that on the later stage. Right, the reason why I'm not doing it now is uh, my character is currently masked, so the move tool is going to be constrained by that mask. So I'm going to fill in all the details that I need to do, and then I'll turn off the mask and start, uh, you know, playing around with the proportions. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm using the soft brush, so I'm switching back to the standard brush just to add uh, some soft shadows and give the character a little bit more of a three-dimensional form. So this is done really quickly, and because of the mask, you know, our, our strokes are staying within the silhouette, so that's a really handy feature. It really speeds things up. 
right? And you know that those soft strokes have really done a lot to make our character a bit more three dimensional. I'm going to click on the clear mass button so that I can edit the character as a whole. I felt that her head was a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is just shrink it down a little bit by using a really big brush and just pushing on the outer layer towards the middle. Right, that's sort of uh, shifted the features of the face, so I'm just going to correct those. Like her eyes are looking a little bit droopy. And I uh, wasn't really happy with the shoes, so uh, I'm going to switch to another design. Right, It's starting to look a little bit too ballet-like, so I'm going to give her something uh, a little bit more solid. Right? But I don't want to lose the whole uh, oriental feel, so I'm going to add some breakups in there to make it feel like... Uh, you know, those sandals with socks on, even though it's actually a full boot, just to give an impression of that. Okay, I'm um, changing some of the folds in there that I wasn't happy with, and I'm adding some, some more softer shadows throughout the model, right? Some of the hard shadows that I painted earlier on, I'm going to soften those with a standard brush, and I'm finally adding, uh, you know, some hair, the hair strand that's meant to sort of go down. Turning off the symmetry feature now, and I'm adding details on the eyes, and uh, I'm fading some of the, the the outer areas just to give it a bloom-like effect, right? And I'm slowly wrapping into this one, and I'm adding a little bit of shadow on the bottom. And again, so I'm just continuing to tweak the shape and the design, uh, switching between symmetry mode and no symmetry, just to sort of see... Uh, what we could uh, achieve with this. Right? I'm trying to milk this thumbnail as much as I can before I proceed to the next one. I right? wasn't really happy with the skirt, so what I'm doing is I'm sort of switching it uh, to something that's a bit more central and a little bit more triangular looking, actually. Right? Just to sort of repeat with uh, the whole triangular motif that I'm intending to have in this character. I've added some of those details on the sleeves as well and uh, just playing around with a bit more uh, features in here. Created a mask around the bun area so that uh, the strokes don't uh, sort of fall outside of that. I'm going to teach you that in, the later, uh, in a later demo. And I'm finally touching up with uh, some more highlights, changing things up a little bit, uh, but in general I'm pretty happy with the overall result. Right, adding a little bit of asymmetry on the shadows. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that I could call this one done. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something from that. See you in the next video.